So temperatures are a little bit warmer, but we might see a little light snow in the mm. forecast? No, so the clouds <laughs> oh. will stay all week. Oh, okay. Really gloomy clouds. But the, yeah, the temperatures are warmer today. Mm. Um, they were warmer, but with the, still with the wind chills and the clouds, it didn't, I don't know, did it feel like it was warmer out there today? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be honest. I was trying to be positive. Yeah. yeah, it didn't really feel like it, but it was warmer. Yeah. Um, and we'll see some more of those warmer temperatures throughout the seven day forecast until they plummet again. So, some of that light snow that we did have today did pass through. We did have some light snow pass through, but the air was just so dry. A lot of it did not even make it to the ground. In the Sioux City metro, uh, we didn't really have any flakes flying in the air. Uh, there was one report by the Target in Sioux City that I saw, but other than that, um, not too too many flakes flying around. Again, that air was just so dry, it sucked up those flakes before they can make it to the ground. Looking at uh, dark but cloudy skies in Storm Lake, the sun is still setting in Sioux City. How cool is that? Uh, really nice pink sunset on the Port Neuwaldi Company Skycam HD. Again, in downtown Sioux City there. 28 degrees, that high today, just below normal. And uh, again, warmer than yesterday. Maybe you didn't feel like it, but it was warmer. That morning low only at 2 degrees will be around uh, normal temperature night for our low temperatures, so not as bitter there. Right now we're looking at those cloudy skies and 28 degrees in Sioux City. The yeah, temperatures are in the 20s and near 30. 28 Sioux City to came at 23 in Wayne. Even those in northern Iowa that are usually the colder ones still got up into the 20s. 18 in Esterville. So here it is, warmer than yesterday by 10 to uh, 20 degrees in spots. 18 warmer in Sheldon, so definitely a warmer air mass with that south wind. But doesn't really feel like it. It still feels like 3 in Esterville. Feels like 19 in Sioux City and 11 in Wayne. That's because these winds have been packing a punch today. We have 17 mile per hour sustained winds in Esterville and some of those gusts are getting up to uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour. 23 is the gust right now in Denison. So there it looks like a lot of snow fell today but really it didn't. Again the dry air sucked up the flakes before they could make it to the ground but we did keep with the cloud cover throughout the day today. Here's that front that was trying to make its way through. We'll keep with the clouds, and then there's more clouds where that comes from. Clouds will move in from the west as well uh, for tonight. So not as bitter. The clouds will help keep us a little bit warmer with temperatures getting into the teens tonight. 13, that low in Sioux City, a little bit chilly there. And then the gloomy clouds stay for tomorrow. The wind chills tonight, again, will still be cold, but not too bad. We're looking to stay above zero tonight as far as those wind chills go. Then tomorrow, wind chills will get into the 20s, so a little bit closer to the temperature there. The overnight's not as bad starting tomorrow night with those uh, wind chills in the teens, and then really nice by Tuesday as far as the wind chills go, uh, really very close to the temperature. So on the warming mend. But again, here's the lows from this morning. A lot of goose eggs, very cold, right around zero, but that's the last of it we'll see for now before the cold air returns. As you can see, remember I showed you yesterday the cold air, we followed that freezing line all the way down to Texas. Well, it started to lift north. Now that freezing line is up towards Sioux City, uh, Billings there, Atlanta. So you can see it's starting to shift east a little bit to who our friends on the east coast. So as it does that, it's going to lift north and bring in some of those warmer temperatures for us. So here it is visually with the jet stream. You can see uh, it start to lift up and we get some of those warmer air masses to come in for us uh, by this week. So that means warmer 20s and 30s for us. Then what's going to happen is the jet stream kind of flattens out. We keep some of the warmer temperatures in there, but it also keeps us not so much with an active pattern, but a cloudy pattern and the clouds really stay for us throughout the seven day forecast. Good news though, you made it to the coldest part of the season. Our uh normal high temperature of 30 degrees is the coldest that we'll see for the season on that warming mend through uh, February, but the roller coaster continues. Temperatures will get back down to the teens uh, by the end of this week, so 14 on Friday, but some 30s before that, so we will go up before we go down. So again, the clouds will stick around uh, throughout the night tonight. We'll stay flurry free. A system passes us to the north by tomorrow uh, and again, but we'll just stay with some of those clouds. And then uh, we'll have those clouds here to stay through Tuesday and Wednesday. For the most part, staying dry, a flurry possible here or there, but keeping the forecast dry for now. So 13 degrees tonight, not as bitter with those stubborn clouds. For tomorrow, 30 degrees, gloomy skies, warmer, breezy, can see gusts up to 30 miles per hour again tomorrow. And then just the clouds are here to stay. But there are some warmer temperatures, though. So we'll have uh, temperatures getting warmer up to the 30s by Tuesday 
before they kind of tumble again. So I don't know. I was going to say, definitely Monday, Tuesday, enjoy the 30s. <laughs> yeah, I've seen comments on Facebook going, oh, wow, yeah, warmer 30s, but the clouds. I don't know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <and take. laughs> Thanks so much, Elisa.